Lord again. Amen. It is good to be here. Amen. It's a good, warm, hot day, but, uh, but we have long, cold winters, so enjoy. Amen. So uh, God is good to us. And again, we just wanted to reiterate the summer program is tomorrow. If you can, some of you that are here that, are, that have young people that are coming, you can, you can register right after service, and, and I'll make sure that you, you fill out all the forms that you need to do. We have the packets already available, and we'll have their name card for their name tag. So let's make sure we do that so we can hit the ground running tomorrow. Amen. Folk are calling. Uh, keep praying for the numbers that we want to see. Everything has been set up, and, 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 and you know how, how you anticipate something so long till you get tired in the anticipation? That's kind of... Where pastor is, I'm, I'm, I'm excitedly tired, but, uh, but we're glad that it's coming off. Amen? Amen. And, and, and just for interest sake, I put up this, the Dove Summer Program rules. I don't, I don't know. I thought they might be good for the church. Especially <laughs> the one said no cursing, no, no fighting, no arguing, no kicking. You know, any of those, you know. So in, in, in case you're prone to do some of those, you know, they, they, it's, uh, it's for the kids. And... But as far as uh, ask to go to the restroom, you don't need to do that. But, uh, but we are, we, we're getting ready, and we need your help right after service because the tables need to go back down where they need to be, and then some need to come, two need to come up here. So as fast as we can do it, the many hands that we can do to help do that will be set up for tomorrow. So when we come in tomorrow morning, uh, we, we can hit the ground running. Amen? Amen. Let's keep praying for each other because so many of you have, have come to me and said, Pastor, this hurt and that hurt. This, this just stopped working. You know, so, <laughs> so we just, y- 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 amen, amen. The devil is a liar. Many of you I thought about all week. Katina, forgive Pastor. Every day I thought about you. And I said, I got to call people and just let them know that I, I'm praying for them and believing for them. And so, so I am going to probably next Sunday, uh, 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 before Shirley ministers. Remember I said that, before Shirley ministers. She got off the hook today, but she's going to minister next Sunday. And uh, uh, we're we going to pray. It, it's, 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 t- it's time to circle this stuff in prayer. Because anytime too many things like that show up, it's, it's not of the Lord. Amen. How, how many of you are have, have some kind of ailment, some, some problem? Yeah, amen. 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 Okay, okay. We're going to believe this week. I know it's a busy week for us, but we're going we gonna to believe. And if there's just an ounce of time left, I may pray a little. But uh, we're going to go straight through. Because I believe what that word says. Amen. Amen. And, and that he's a healer. And we have a right to it because healing is the children's bread. It's what we eat is healing. Amen. All right. All right. So, so if you have your Bibles, everybody, get your Bibles in your hand. And repeating after me, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. This book calls me an overcomer. And that's who I am. Today I shall be taught the infallible, unchanging word of God. So my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. As I gladly receive the word today. I believe that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Father, we thank you for what we're about to receive. We thank you for what you have prepared for this time. We thank you for a sure word in due season. We thank you that the people will be blessed and will be changed and will be transformed. And we thank you that we have ears to hear. God, we ask that you would turn us on. Turn us on that we would hear. Help us to listen. Help us to know. Help us to operate in the things you've called us to. And we thank you, God, for the victory we have through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You all ready for the word? It's an early word. Amen. We're going to talk quickly from, from the subject, a place called regular. A place called regular. A place called regular. Take a few notes. We're going to go straight through. A place called regular.
What is regular? As an adjective. And you know an adjective describes or modifies a word. An example, it is constant, a definite pattern, regular, a regular pattern, constant. To expand a little, number two, recurring at, univ at uniform intervals, recurring at uniform intervals. There is a clock in the neighborhood, and, and what I'm here doing today, I like to hear it because it, it's an old sound of the city. In, in, in one of the, 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 the Catholic church, I don't know whether it's St. Francis or it's the one right behind, but I know when I hear it, 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 it it's a wonderful sound. And, and, it, and it sounds every day at, at, at 12, 1, 2, and 3. Those are regular intervals. Everybody say regular. And so when something happens uh, like that uh, consistently, it, 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 is, it is regular. You do some things regularly. Amen? Amen. All right. All right. Uh, uh, most of you try to go to bed at the same time regular. Most of you, some of you would ask before sundown. Amen. No matter what time of the year. Amen. You, uh, amen. Uh, 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 but regular as a noun, and a noun is a person, place, or thing, right? Yeah. It works like this. A regular customer. Yeah. A regular customer. You frequent that place often. There are places that I go to eat that I'm considered a regular. Even though I don't go there every week, every day, I go there enough that they know me as a regular. And they'll ask me, are you having your usual? My usual is what's regular for me. And if I flip the script on them sometime and say, nah, I want my eggs scrambled instead of sunny side up, they stop and say, what's wrong with you today? Because I'm regular a certain way. Anybody regular that way? You, it's certain things you just, you, you, okay, okay, all right. So, so a place called regular. There are things in your life as a Christian that ought to be regular. Everybody listening? Amen. They ought to be regular. There are things in your life as a Christian and they, they, you ought to be regular. Prayer is at the top of the list. You ought to be regularly in prayer. Prayer is at the top of the list. It's not always the give me prayers. Or let me say it like you say, give me. But prayers that seek intimacy with God so you can discern his movement. You need to show up regularly so like the waitress, she knows what I'm about. Amen. And sometimes we want God to show up in an emergency when you haven't been a regular visitor to his presence. And then when it doesn't jump off like you think it ought to happen, you think that God failed. No, you failed to show up. Amen. Yeah. And you need to show up before there's an emergency. Amen. Just show up because you need him. Yeah. 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 Show up because I want to be in your presence. Yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Prayer is the place you show up to meet God. Yeah. And when you meet him there, he, 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 he shows you stuff. Anybody know I'm talking right? Yeah. We, we, we were going through a few things in the family, uh, uh, and so we, we, we start circling them in prayer. We've been reading the book, Draw the Circle, so we just start circling in prayer consistently. Ask and keep on asking, knock, keep on knocking, seek, keep on seeking. And, and, and we circle it, we circle it, we circle it until we got a peace and we got an answer. That's because you kept coming into the present. See, when you need an answer, you got to go to the one that has the answer. Amen. You always want answers, but they're not dialing any number. It's going to the one that has the answer. Because the worst thing you can get is a no from somebody you thought had an answer. And people don't have the answer. How many of you found that out? They don't always have the answer. Unless God sends you to that person. 
then you'll have an answer. But sometimes, what's your greatest disappointment? They didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they worse off than I am. <laughs> They're complaining more than me. Yeah. Yeah. You need to go to the one that has the answer. Not only does he have the answer, he's got the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Not only has the plan, he know how to activate it yeah. with the least resistance. Right. That means the less pain. Yeah. How many know when you help, you cause more injury? It turns up into 15 years of payment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, 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 uh. Let's, let's, let's keep it moving. We're doing good. Y'all about to shout. I messed up. Yeah, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Prayer is like our television, which has a tuner. Even in this digital age, it's a digital tuner. When we change to a different station, we hit a certain signal for that station number. That's what prayer is. You, 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 you use the tuner, the remote activated, now you don't have to get up and touch anything. But, 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 but when you start flipping through, it's looking for a signal. And prayer helps you look for the signal. My God. Once we tune in, what we search for is located. It shows up. Tuners help decode broadcast signals. Prayer helps you decode the will of God. See, when you tune in to God, it helps you decode what his will is. When you show up with God, then you, then you find out, okay, this is what you want. See, your biggest, your biggest uh, 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 upset place with God in prayer is that he don't always shows you what you want in prayer. He shows you what he wants. Amen. That's why many of you won't go and pray about it because you don't want to know the will of God in it. No, no, no. And, and sometimes you don't even want to come to the pastor or the preacher to handle it a certain way because you don't want my will over it. So you go around me and get it done another way because you don't want the pastor's will over it. And that's okay if you want to live that dangerously. But the funny thing is, I've been living long enough to stand to see the decision made and then to see the outcome of the decision. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how is that working? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to buy. It, you, Pastor, you got some singles. I'm going to have to buy me some amen. <laughs> amen. Sometimes you don't come ask people that you know what the answer is going to be. Because you know it don't lie. If it don't line up in here, why would you ask me to confirm what you to know in your heart already? Amen. Amen. It's already in the, I'm, come on, y'all. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. 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 All right, all right. Yes. Acts 10, 1 and 2. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Ah. NIV. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius. A centurion in what was known as the Italian regiment. He and all, everybody say all, all. his family were devout and God feared. That means they godly observed some things. How many of the family? All. all right, all right. He gave generously. Oh, that's the one we need to say together. He gave. To those in need. And here is the, the four words that defined Cornelius. Pray to God regularly. I like the NIV because it used the word that I want. He prayed to God how often? We don't get the interval. We don't know whether it was morning, noon, and night. We don't know whether he prayed seven times. We don't know whether he prayed all day. But he, it, was, it was so good until it was noted as being regular. Come on, come on, come on. Pray, but just get regular. See, see, you want to pray trouble. You want to pray when you're in pain. I'm hurting, y'all pray. Everything aching. Pray. Why don't 
don't you pray before Arthur and Wright show up? Amen. Keep my stuff. Stop praying over your food and, and pray about what to choose to eat. Yeah. Oh. You're sitting with a big old plate of something that's, that's against everything in you, and you tell God, please take the impurities out. Well, that food don't have a mind. It, it's just a chemical. When it hits your body, it's going to turn to what it needs to turn to. If it's sugar, you're going to be jumping soon. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if it's salty, your blood pressure automatically going to go up. Amen. Are you telling your food, tell God to take the impurities out of it. What would be funny if you asked God to do that and your plate would disappear? <laughs> Whoosh. It will just disappear. Well, you prayed. <laughs> Are y'all there? The key word was regular. In the book, Draw the Circle, which many of you have and, and we've been reading, it is shared that when you pray to God regularly, irregular things happen on a regular basis. <laughs> See, when you pray to God regularly, he interrupts your regular with an irregularity. That may not sound good. I don't want to be irregular, Pat. Well, if you've been praying about something and that something shows up, it's considered irregular because it's out of the realm. But you've been believing for it. You can believe for an irregular Settlement. Yes. An irregular surprise check in the mail. Yes. And a regular cancellation of a bill. Yes. An irregularity where the bank forgets and loses your account and, and they say, why you keep paying? Because we can't even find your account. Yes. It's, a, it's a computer glitch. Amen. It's irregular. An irregularity is something you've been suffering with regularly and you go to the doctor and they can't find it anymore. Yes. And say, I don't know where it is. What's going on? That's irregular. Yes. So you pray to God so the regulator, so he can make some irregular become regular. Yes. Yes. How many of you know being out of debt can, can become real regular? Yes. Can I get that regular? Yes. Yes. It works for sin, too. Yes. If you go to him regularly, uh -huh. he'll establish an irregularity yes. and jump in and stop the sin. Yes. As you trust him over this, Hallelujah. then he'll make what was irregular for you regular. Hallelujah. Are y'all getting that? Tap somebody say, it's time to get regular. <laughs> but let's, let's, let's look at Cordelius. Cornelius understood and knew this. First of all, he was not of the Jewish religious community. It said he was a centurion in, in, in the Italian regiment. He was Roman. He was someone who could be easily underestimated as a devout man of prayer because he was Roman. But he was so prayer filled and so regular in prayer that God says, I'm going to use you and your name is going to get listed in my book because of the way I'm going to use you. You know how powerful that is? Because he was regular in prayer. He was someone who could easily be underestimated. You're a devout man of prayer? How? You know Jehovah? Sometimes you underestimate people. Next 
He prayed to Jehovah, not to the gods of Rome. But that was his business. He didn't go around and say, I'm a Roman that prays to Jehovah. But he was known for praying. That means somebody around him heard him all the time. Wow, wow. Does somebody hear you? Or what do they hear from you? Well, let me look at my list up here. Acts 10 records a phenomenal move of God that started in prayer. The move is known as synchronicity. I preached about it a couple years back, synchronicity. It also showed up in our book. Synchronicity is the simultaneous occurrence of events. And, and, and Jan, did you want me, I know you wanted me, you didn't holler out, spell it, Pastor, like I did. Yes, okay, spell it, Pastor. See, yeah, like, like that's right. That's why right. jump them, jump them, Jim. S Y N C H R O N I C I T Y. Synchronicity. <laughs> what is synchronicity? It is the simultaneous occurrence of events which appear significantly related but have no discernible casual connection. It's a divine connection. That means the events are happening at the same time, but if you look at both sides, one event and the other event, there's nothing that would seem like they would attach themselves, but for some reason, both of those events end up running into each other. It is a divine intersection. Let me explain. Everybody say divine intersection. In prayer, Cornelius has a vision. While praying of meeting the apostle Peter in Caesarea. At the same time, Peter has his famous vision. About meeting Cornelius in Joppa. In his hometown. But, but, but Peter's dream was more significant than Cornelius's. Because in Peter's dream, he saw a sheet come down. And it had every kind of being beast in it. Clean and unclean. And he didn't understand it until he had to meet a Roman centurion by the name of Cornelius. Well, when Cornelius uh, 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 met Peter down in Joppa, the, 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 Peter met Cornelius down to Joppa. The, the first thing that happened, once his foot crossed over his threshold, he had broke all Jewish laws, all Jewish rules, stepped into something that, 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 that blew years and thousands of years of tradition. Why? Because with Peter... The gospel had only gone to the Jews. Only to the Jews. But the minute he stepped, he stepped over into prayer ground where a devout Roman had been praying, the gospel immediately opened up to the Gentiles and everybody received the gospel. Come on, somebody. Are y'all here? Yes. So that's why we're reading about Cornelius because God used a devout Roman yes. to make a devout Jew yes. preach about Jesus yes. for the whole world. Yes. And billions of people later, yes. the prayer of Cornelius is still with us. Yes. And if you don't understand about the billions, when you got saved, Cornelius' prayer was kicking in. <laughs> it kicked in because he was regular. <laughs> because he was regular. So you want stuff to happen, but you won't get regular with God. You're distracted, but you ain't regular. You want stuff to happen, but you ain't regular. 
And you got to get your mind set in a different place. When I'm in church, I'm going to be regular. I'm tuning in. It's just not, I'm not here because I'm on fellowship time. I'm here because I want to tune in. Amen. Because there's a signal going out <laughs> to help me get regular. So when trouble comes, I don't have to wonder about am I regular or will God hear me or will he answer because I've been in his presence before. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. You're so regular until when you get there, you say, oh, this feels like home. <laughs> this feels like you. Oh, God, this is good. When you get there, okay, God, what, what's up? What's up? Could you kind of? No, 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 no. When I get in, <laughs> first of all, I know how to enter. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Enter into his gates with. And into his courts with. Come on, come on. Thank you. Bless you. See, 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 see. I, when I come to him, I'm going to come right. You don't have to do nothing for me, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. You're the reason why I have a job. Thank you. Bless you. Because I could have woke up and not been able to get up. Thank you. Bless you. I ain't that cocky about it. I ain't that wonderful about it. I'm not that puffed up about it. That I forget that it's in you I live, move, and have my being. That's what old folks say. If it had not been for the Lord, yeah, 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 yeah. Who was on my side? Oh, you ain't ready for this today. Tell me where would I be? Oh, I'm trying to get you out your cockiness, out your self-centeredness. Get regular. When you get regular. You'll get an answer. Hallelujah. Tap somebody and say, get regular. You need an answer. Tell them you need an answer. Get regular. My God, my God. Thank you, Lord God. Psalm 30. My God, my God. I dare you to get regular. All over the room, holler, thank you. Now holler, praise you. Come on, come on, that'll get you in the door. Come on, that'll, that'll get you in the door every time. <laughs> oh God, oh God, I couldn't wait to get here. I, I said, God. regular with God and he'll regulate everything that concerns you. He's concerned about you today. You cannot afford an irregular prayer life. It's too costly. Let me say this. It's not easy to pray. Sometimes when you get up to pray, you have to pray past trouble. You have to pay past doubt. You have to pay, pray past tribulation. It's not easy to pray. When you first get down there, you ain't doing nothing but, but revisiting everything you've been through. But after you get past that... <laughs> If you keep running in, you can leave all that behind. Because he'll say, come closer. Now that you got that out of your system, 
let's really talk about something. Let's talk about what I want you to do. Not what I can do, but what I'm able to do about what's worrying you. No, it's not easy to pray. Sometimes you get down and you don't know what to say. And you're so tore up. Say, God help me. You hurting and trying to pray. You tore up and trying to pray. And even with that, God doesn't let you off your hook. He said, come to me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. <laughs> you being tore up is not an excuse not to pray. Stay regular until the irregular shows up. <laughs> Stay regular. Some of y'all want it to happen all the time because you're wonderful, because you got gifts, because you got talent, but it ain't got, it, it's, 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 it's not regular. So God can't intervene with an irregularity known as a blessing. There's some things that only come out of being in his presence. In closing, well, I want to say this, these two scriptures, Psalm 34 and 4. I sought the Lord and he Come on. <laughs> Come on, somebody. He didn't deliver me until I sought the Lord. When I sought him, he heard me. And delivered me from some of my. Let's read that together, everybody. I sought the Lord, and he heard me. And delivered me from all my fear. Come on, put your hands together. Give my prayer. Now, this is my last scripture, my encouragement to you. Now, some of you ought to be feeling better in your body right yes, now. Because yes, yes, yes. the word has come. Yes. <laughs> the word has come. The presence has come. And in your presence. Okay. Here's the closing encouragement to you today. Romans 12 and 12, and it's in the English Standard Version. It says, rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Blessings to you today. <laughs> Come on, give them a good praise all over this room. Tell them thank you and give them a praise. Come on, do better than that. Tell them thank you and give them a praise. Oh, boy, I got messed up. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Get regular. There's a place called regular. regular in prayer to get past you. Get to him. Get regular. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this day and everything this day has called us to. Bless in this house. We rebuke every ailment and everything that's on assignment that's not like you. Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name. Come on, open your mouth.
mouth real good. Put your hands together. Give God a good praise.